As concern about sexual identity ratcheted up during the 20th century, you could escape the surveillance of the wider normative society by going abroad. Paris played its traditional role as the bohemian haven for people who were different, both artistically or personally, as well as sexually. Napoleon had legalized homosexuality in 1807, so it was, in a sense, a free city, in addition to all of its other bohemian attributes, which were so attractive to Americans seeking to escape what they saw as a button-down and restricted existence. In the middle, we have the very dangerous-looking Joanna Barnes, a kind of sexual adventurer with her wonderful hat and multi-layered fabrics. And on the far right, we have Janet Flander, the great expatriate American writer. Um, and this is the iconic image, really, for Hide Seek. We used it as the cover of our catalog. And I want to point to not just the spoofing that she's doing on gender by wearing a man's top hat, but by the mask, the ordinary party mask, the black and the white mask that are on that hat. And the masks suggest a variety of things, but above all, what they suggest is the way that, as society sought to define homosexuals out of existence, as they were further mar marginalized, the element of escape and evasion, the masking, a coding that had to occur if you were to survive and even flourish as a gay or lesbian American became more and more difficult. So what, in this almost bittersweet comic uh, display of bravado with the top hat, the, the mask suggests how Janet Flanner knew she had to navigate the world by hiding in plain sight. The other interesting thing, of course, is with the artist Berenice Abbott, who photographed these wonderful portraits only when she was abroad. When she returned to the United States, people dropped out of her, port out of her photography, and what she did was she became the great photographer of the modern American city, the grid work of streets, the panoply and this display of lights. In a sense, she abstracted herself through the, the, the medium of photography and, it, and through a subject which became increasingly uh, uh, abstract, the city itself. 